All right, so, so a lot of people talk about accessories for your Model 3, uh, things to buy after you buy your car, and I know some of you have just bought your cars, are planning to buy your cars, and uh, just received your cars, and those of you who received your cars, Mike, Amir, Mukul, thanks for using my referral code. Um, again, if you're looking at buying a car and you have any questions, my email is always open to anybody uh, to ask me questions about anything that you have uh, and want to know. Uh, feel free to ask me. It's down in the description below. Uh, anyway, back to accessories. So there are two types of accessories. There's the functional accessories and then there's the fashionable accessories. So I'm going to show you what I have installed on my car and what I recommend. Uh, we're going to start with the functional and if I miss something that you recommend, leave them in the description below. Let's uh, make a resource for more people to kind of come and take a look at that and and purchase the accessories. So uh, let's let's go take a look at my car. All right, so in the garage now, uh, got the car over here. Don't remind me, I know. I'm gonna get the garage redone and painted and, and made cool, just stay tuned for that. Remember, it's fashion or function. So just kind of getting into my car here. So as you can see, the first thing here is the, that I did was the door handles. So the door handles are a vinyl wrapped, uh, they're not wrapped all the way around, so you can see uh, the, the metal on the other side. See that? So it's just white here. I paint matched it because I thought it looked more seamless and cool. It blends into the body better. Uh, and so uh, that is through Abstract Ocean. And uh, they make a lot of cool stuff, so check them out. Uh, as well, if you use code Tesla Raj, you get 15% off. So uh, there's gonna be a couple things from Abstract Ocean. They make some really cool stuff, so uh, yeah. Okay. First thing that I do want to call out is what you'll see right there. So, as most of you know who have your car, or uh, maybe you don't know, uh, you obviously know that to open the door is that button right, right there. But, there's an emergency release button that's right down here. And so what happens is as you get guests into your car, especially in the passenger seat, they may pull that lever to open the door. Now, that lever uh, enables the emergency release, so it drops the window, it allows you to pop the door open in case you lose electricity, but uh, you don't want that button pressed all the time, and so to educate everyone who comes into your car how to press that button, uh, it can be sort of a pain in the neck. So uh, these guys, uh, Tesla Bros, have created these vinyl stickers. That's really all it is. It's a vinyl sticker that, that shows you that that button there opens the car door. And what they do is they make it for all four doors. So even, you know, back here, I've got one on this door. Now the rear seats don't have the emergency release, uh, but the front one does. To be honest, the passenger door is the most important, but just for seamless sake, uh, I put it everywhere. And so, yeah, so this falls under the functional category as well as the fashionable. Right, you've got it, it looks nice, it looks clean, but it's also functional because it prevents the emergency latch from being pulled. Okay, the next thing that I wanna talk about is the floor mats. So if you rewind back, I actually did a video on these floor mats. Uh, this was one of the first videos that I ever made, and to be honest, is one of my favorite floor mats. Uh, all weather, as you can see, they're fairly dirty, but what I like about them is they've got this lip, uh, so you can see the lip right over there, and it just helps to contain, you know, dirt, and garbage and grime and water and so forth. As you know, we get a lot of snow in California. No, we don't, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I don't know. But I like it, just, it just helps keep the car clean. You can just pull them out, wash them down, super easy, super convenient. That is a functional accessory and I highly recommend those. Those are by 3D Max Spider. I'll put a link to them down below. I believe you can get them off of Amazon. Uh, whatever the link is, you'll find it down below. The next uh, accessory, and I did a review on this as well, is uh, this is a functional accessory. I highly recommend this. This is a wireless charger. As you know, the Model 3 does not come with wireless charging. You do have to dock it and charge it. And so what I recommend is this wireless charger is the one that I've had. I've never had a problem with it. Put it down. You can see the orange light indicates that it's charging, and it's as simple as that. As you can see, it works on both sides. You just put it down and it begins charging. So 
Uh, simple, convenient, clean. Uh, it's got lights to indicate when it's charging. And this is by Nomad. And Nomad makes a lot of other uh, accessories for Apple and, and watch and so forth. So as long as you have a wireless capable phone, a wireless charging capable phone, uh, definitely get one of these. Now, some of you may say, well, that's still char uh, that's still slow. This does charge at the 7.5, but in case you want faster, what I do recommend uh, for faster charging is what I have in the center console here, which is a USB car charger. And I have this just plugged in. It's by Aki. And uh, this has two USB ports at 2.4 amps. So that's gonna be the fastest charging available for at least iPhone. If you have an Android, I think you can get these with quick charge. Uh, and I have that plugged in. I have some of these retractable uh, cables uh, that just you know make it easy and convenient and clean uh, in the car that I just plug in there. And that way, if I want it to be ch fast charging faster than wireless charging, I just use this and have this pulled out and I can kind of keep it in my cup holder or whatnot. And so charging is definitely a functional accessory. So uh, very much recommended. Now, you probably noticed uh, this. Uh, this is a, a cup holder mat. I did a video on this as well. Uh, this is fashionable. It's, I don't know if I really recommend it, but I don't know, I thought it was cool. And it's in there as well. Another accessory that I highly recommend is a screen protector for your car. When I go into the display and I go into screen clean mode, you'll notice that you see it's got a matte finish. This is, I, I never thought I would need this until I got it installed and this works wonders. Let me tell you why. Number one, do you see how you can see this perfectly clear? And do you see how when I even turn it off, you can see it perfectly clear. You'll see other people's videos where you'll see a rainbow effect coming up on the screen. Well, it doesn't happen here because of this high quality screen protector. Now, this one's by Elon Accessories. And so I'll, I'll put a link to that down below, but this is extremely helpful for multiple uh, situations. Number one, let's go back into screen cleaning mode. Number one, no fingerprints. As you can see, I was just touching the screen everywhere. There's no fingerprints. Number two, when you're driving out in the sun, not having a glare is amazing. And number three, I wear polarized sunglasses. And when you wear polarized sunglasses, you notice a lot of effects start to happen to glass. But with this screen protector, you don't get those rainbow weird effects. So highly, highly recommend, you know, you can get whatever screen protector you want, but I can vouch for Elon accessories uh, and their uh, screen protector. Uh, what they've made at, at its highest quality. Definitely a functional accessory. Okay, I promise we talk about everything and you probably noticed uh, this white dash uh, as well as that I don't have white seats or a white interior car. Uh, this is a fashionable accessory, definitely not required, um, but I really liked the white and how it complements the white of the car. This was a dash swap. Uh, if you haven't seen my video to that, I'll, I'll link that up above, but um, that was done with a, another uh, customer who's got a white interior car who wanted the wood dash. We swapped dashes and uh, we're both pretty happy about that. So uh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, again, excuse the dirt and the dirtiness of my car. It needs a wash, but it's been rainy and gross. And now I'm down on the dirty garage floor to show you another thing that I did. This is fashionable. I painted my calipers. I do not have a performance car. This does not make my car go faster. This does not increase uh, the range of my car or do anything of that sort. It just looks cool. And uh, I got this at California Wheels. If you're local to the Bay Area, they're over in Campbell, California. They did a really good job. They did the, uh, the decals as well in there and uh, painted it just that racing red. And uh, I think it stands out and looks really cool. And so I highly recommend that. Uh, yeah, I've been pleased with it, but a fashionable accessory. Uh, another accessory on the inside of the car that I have in place that you can't see and I actually kind of like that. It's over here in the dash. Uh, let me find it, there it is. So I push up on the side there and you'll see this little thing pops out. This is called Scent Wedge and it's an air freshener for your Model 3. It's custom made for the Model 3 to fit discreetly in the air vents. I mean, look at this. You just put it in, push to secure it, and it's in there, it's hidden. 
and as the air comes out, it goes through there. It's made of natural oils and stuff like that. I'll put a link down below. Again, use code TESSARAGE for a, a special discount. Our cars all end up stinking, and so it's always nice to have something like that. That is a functional accessory because your new car smell is not going to last forever, trust me. Uh, and when it runs out, you're going to want something that smells pretty refreshing. Uh, and I, I, I like the scent wedge. I can vouch for it. Okay, I want to move on to the rear of my car in the trunk. Uh, I only really have one thing in here, which is the, the this floor mat. And this floor mat I actually bought uh, when I first got the car. This is by Tough Pro. I, this is functional and... I don't know if it's fashionable, but you can see there's a lot of dirt built up in here. And so that's what I really like a lot about it is that, you know, it traps and protects all of that. Uh, at the time, this was really all that was the only option. Uh, now I know there's a lot of other options as far as uh, floor mats for the trunk. And so uh, I highly recommend uh, anything for the trunk to keep it clean and organized. Uh, I don't like that this goes over this hump right here this part uh, so but it does have a cutout for the, the lift so that's kind of nice another thing I highly highly recommend is to do your center console wrap it with vinyl the glossy finish that comes with the car ends up getting scratched with you even just breathing so I think wrapping it is a highly functional thing um, yes it can improve it aesthetically uh, and it could be fashionable if you put different colors and make it look cool and unique but uh, wrapping it will also protect it from scratches and it just that piano glossy finish and actually collects a lot of dust as well um, but you know putting it uh, in with a more matte finish actually helps prevent that and it looks cleaner as you can see on mine it, it looks really nice I, I don't have to stress about it looking uh, dirty and so uh, the center console wraps can be found uh, in a lot of different places uh, but uh, I will put a link down below uh, the same guys who make the vinyl for your door handles Tesla bros uh, they actually make center console wraps as well and so uh, go and check them out they got a really cool tutorial make it really easy to install uh, it can be very intimidating to install but uh, they've done a good job uh, making you feel a little bit more comfortable in the installation process so the other thing that I do want to call out is uh, my pedals that you probably noticed earlier uh, those are performance pedals um, they are a fashionable accessory and they don't do anything for the car other than looks because it looks cool but it does not make my car any faster or increase performance or range or anything that's purely fashionable and only based for looks um, but it, it looks cool um, and uh, another accessory that I have of course is Drop lock, if you don't know what drop lock is by now, you're sleeping underneath a rock, but uh, yeah, it's a product I created. Shameless promo, I, I, it's installed, I, I do use it. So yeah, uh, just protects your valuables in your trunk so someone can't break in and open your, your seat down. So yeah, that's, that's another thing that I have installed. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, the same Tough Pro mat that's in the trunk, uh, I also do have it in the frunk. Uh, speaking of, exterior on the cars uh, I did a interview with Joe from OCD detailing uh, on you know the difference between paint protection film and ceramic coating and so forth so right now the only protection that I have on my car is the front of the car the hood the side fenders the lights the bumper and the uh, side rearview mirrors are all uh, covered in paint protection film think of it as a screen protector for your car so you know rock chips and things like that as you drive don't ding up the paint and expose you know little black dots on the on the white paint so uh, that's why i got that uh the other accessory that i did or uh, somewhat did and people will argue whether this is fashionable or functional but i tinted my car uh, i got it done all around at 40 40 percent and this is 3M Crystalline Ceramic Tint. Now, uh, many will argue on brands and, and, and styles and so forth, uh, but ceramic tint is specifically targeted to block uh, the maximum amount of UV that comes into the car. And so that's why I did it. Uh, the rear uh, window 
roof window is all done in a single piece. Uh, I did all four windows. I also did the windshield, um, but the windshield I did it at 75%. Uh, so it's the lightest that you can go. Uh, and I just wanted to really block out a lot of the UV rays when I'm driving in traffic. Uh, my arms used to get hot and so forth, so I recommend that. I went to Mr. Tint in San Jose, so if you're a local base, check them out. They do a really good job. And, uh, but for ceramic tint, uh, you will pay a premium on that because it is a more functional tint than a basic uh, tint that is just uh, for increasing uh, fashion and looking all dark. So yeah recommend uh, getting a ceramic tint on your car. Oh my God, I completely forgot about another functional accessory they have because it's hidden and out of the way, but it works really, really well. This, hidden in this compartment right here, as you know, this compartment is a giant hole, but not anymore. If you see, I nicely have my things organized in here. See how easy it is to reach and grab my glasses, put it back, I can keep things organized. Without this tray, that is the gaping hole that is comes with the car. And you need to reach in here, and when you're driving, this is a deep hole to get into. So to make it more functional, this is the three tray. It's just so convenient and organized and right at the top that you can just grab and go, keep your stuff organized. I've seen people put their fast tracks and change their uh, glasses and so forth. And the best of all is it stays hidden and the door closes like it should. So that is a functional accessory. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to that down below too. I, I really like that. And the fit and finish is just on par with the car. It almost looks like it came with the car. So uh, a functional accessory I recommend to buy. All right, let's see if I can get down low. So many of you guys have heard of a Tony Fam. If you haven't, uh, look him up. He's the creator of this, the Bandit. It's a license plate bracket uh, for the front of your car. I know it's not really fashionable, but it works better uh, than the default one. And it's functional because if you are in this is gonna be a minute. Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Minnesota, uh, Iowa, Montana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Ohio, Texas, Alaska, Hawaii, uh, did I say Ohio? Virginia, Maryland, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, any of those states, your state requires you to put a front plate on. And I know you could wait till you get a ticket and it's a fix it ticket and you fix it for 20 bucks. But did you know that if you're parking in the city and the meter maid comes around and you don't have a plate on, oh, you're getting a more expensive ticket than a $20 fix it ticket. You're getting a full fledged ticket. So now you're looking at about a hundred to $200 ticket. Take a look at the bandit. This is an awesome bracket, works out, but here, let me show you. Check out the way this installs. It actually connects down to the bottom frame. Uh, it doesn't block the vents and it doesn't touch the car. So it's safe, it's easy to use and it was extremely easy to install. That was kind of my fear was that it wasn't going to be but it took maybe five minutes. All the parts and tools are included in the bag and um, it's a great product. I'll put a link to that down below as well. So I do have one more accessory to show you, but it needs to be dark. So I recorded it when it was dark. Here, hold on, let me get it for you. Right here, take a look. All right, so the last uh, accessory that I wanted to talk about was lighting. So if this is your standard trunk lighting and you can see in here, uh, I put a piece for reference on how it looks. Uh, and then we're gonna look at my car, uh, and this has an upgraded lighting kit, so obviously you can see how much brighter it is. Uh, what's great about these lights are it's super easy to install. They actually just pop out your OEM lights and you replace them with these, and these are from Abstract Ocean. I talked about them earlier. Uh, there's a discount if you use Tesla Raj. So they make a full lighting kit so that you can not only upgrade your trunk, which is a functional upgrade, because now you can see everything perfectly well lit, but they also cover 
your doors. So this is what your standard door lighting uh, looks like. It's, it's decent, it's not bad. And then just for reference, I'll keep that open there. Let me pop open my car. Here is the uh, abstract oceans lighting. So you can see the difference here. Uh, it looks really good. Not only that, but they've got cool things like this. If you were interested in that you can get the Tesla logo as a puddle light. You've also got the footwell lights and more that you can buy from Abstract Ocean. They make some cool stuff and I think that's definitely a functional upgrade, uh, just overall general lighting upgrade to make it brighter. Cause as you can see, OEM is not that bright. <laughs> Featuring Tesla DIY. <laughs> Okay, so that was a look at the accessories that I have for my Model 3, uh, stuff that I recommend and stuff that you can pick up, uh, stuff that's functional or fashionable, uh, depending on what uh, suits you. Now, if you have something cool that you're using in your car that was not featured in this video, comment them down below so that others can see that and get other ideas of what they should buy for their Model 3. All products featured in this video will be linked down below along with if there is a discount code associated. So uh, make sure you're purchasing them. Make sure you're using that discount code as well. If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already as I'm putting out videos constantly. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you for uh, tuning in and supporting the channel. Again, remember if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below or shoot me an email. And remember to fuel on electricity. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later.